This is number three from the Calc A, B, and B, C exams in 2013. Um, and it's one of those problems where you're given a table and asked a bunch of stuff about it. Um, so pretty much the first part of every one of these problems is to approximate the derivative at some point. So we're going to approximate C prime of 3.5. So that's approximately C of 4 minus C of 3 over 4 minus 3. So you go one to the left, one to the right in the table. Uh, it's kind of the general method that we use. Uh, now we just have to look some stuff up in the table. So um, the first sign that I used was approximately equal to because I'm approximating C prime of 3.5. But now I'm using equals because the thing I'm about to write is actually equal to um, the fraction that I just wrote there. So um, C of 4 is 12.8 minus uh, C of 3 is 11.2. And then that's over just 1. Um, so C prime of 3.5 is approximately 1.6. And then I need to use the units. So it's the units of the numerator are ounces, and the denominator is minutes. So ounces per minute. And the next part is asking if there is a time um, when c prime of t equals 2 for some t in between 2 and 4, which uh, that should just look like the mean value theorem to you. So let's hope that the mean value theorem applies. Well, it turns out we're told that c of t is differentiable. Um, and if c of t is differentiable, it's definitely continuous. So we have a function that's continuous and differentiable, which means the mean value theorem applies. And not only that, we know that c prime of t equals c of 4 minus c of 2 over 4 minus 2, which is 12.8 uh, minus 8.8 uh, .8 over 2, which is 2. So c prime of t equals 2 for some t in between 2 and 4. So yes, uh, I guess, is the answer to the question. Um, but make sure you say that c of t is differentiable and therefore continuous so that you're actually allowed to use the mean value theorem. Uh, the next part, we're going to approximate this definite integral. Um, and you might notice uh, they do this all the time on the AP exam. Instead of doing uh, you know, the whole thing, the integral over the interval, they pull the uh, over the interval part out, um, but that's just average value. You're asked to find that almost every year these days. So what we need to do is approximate that definite integral with a midpoint Riemann sum. So we're going to go from 0 to 2, 2 to 4, and 4 to 6, and then the midpoints are obviously going to be at 1, 3, and 5. So let's just do that. So the width of each of the rectangles I'm making will be 2. Um, so 2, and then the midpoint, the height there is 5.3, plus 2, the height at the midpoint here is 11.2, and then 2, and the height at the midpoint is 13.8. And uh, you can actually just uh, toss some units on there, which would be uh, ounces, and be done with that part of this, but I'm guessing most of you would actually work it out and get 10.1 ounces. So it's 10.1 ounces, but I'm asked to interpret this, or explain what it means, um, so let's do that. Um, it represents the average amount of coffee, and that's going to be in ounces. In the, uh, I think I said coffee maker, but it's actually just a cup. It's a coffee cup, my fault. In the coffee cup, on the interval from uh, t equals 0 to t equals 6 minutes. But it's the average amount of coffee in ounces, um, which I don't know why you'd want to know that, but whatever. And for part D, part D is actually just uh, take a derivative question. We're given it a function for B of T, where B of T is the amount of cup in, coffee in the cup. Cuppy in the cup, well, I don't know what I was saying there. Um, anyway, I want to know the rate at which the amount of coffee in the cup is changing when T equals 5. So I need to find the derivative of this. B prime of T is negative 16, so the derivative of 16 is 0, negative 16, the derivative of e to the whatever is just uh, the derivative of whatever times e to the whatever, so it's going to be negative 0.4, and then e to the negative 0.4t, and then that means that b prime of 5 is negative 16 times negative 0.4 times e to the negative 0.4 times 5 um, ounces per minute, or if you want to work that out, um, that ends up 6.4 e to the negative 2 ounces per minute. 
Um, and that's the whole problem. So I hope you found this helpful and good luck.